Is it necessary a person who scores high marks in CMA part 1 will also score high marks in part 2? Is it necessary a person who scores higher marks in F2 will score low marks in F3? Or if a person scores higher marks in F2 will also score higher marks in F3? Is it true that the older you become there is a higher chance that you will have higher blood pressure? Is it true that the more overweight you are, the more obese you are, there is a higher chance that you will have diabetes. Is it necessary that a person who scores higher in mathematics will also score higher in statistics? So here we are talking about some sort of relationships. In every walk of life, sometime we try to correlate. Is there a relationship between being younger and being very active and being older and being very uh, lazy? Is there a relationship between age and blood pressure, weight and blood sugar levels? Is there a relationship between being good in management subjects and scoring higher in mathematics or it is vice versa. So in today's video we are going to discuss how we can make out whether there exists any relationship between two variables and we are going to discuss a statistical tool which we call correlation. The full name is coefficient of correlation. It was developed by Carl Pearson and it is also known as Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. So how it is used in our daily life and how to use it for examination purpose we are going to discuss everything now. If you're watching the video for the first time I am the commerce specialist welcome to my channel where you'll find videos covering learning outcomes of various academic qualifications and professional certifications including life-changing business ideas and hacks. So let's jump into the discussion of correlation. In business what happens is most of the time we are interested to find some relationship. For example, is there a relationship between spending more on advertising and getting higher sales? Is there a relationship between demand and price of the product? Is there a relationship between uh, the number of units produced and the total cost? So on and so forth. So before we get into the formula and calculation, first we need to know what is meant by coefficient of correlation. Coefficient of correlation measures the degree of linear relationship between two variables. And if you look at this, this is the formula. Coefficient of correlation statistically is denoted by small r. The formula is here. And once you get the value of r, okay, that shows you something. I have created a small question here. It says uh, there are six number of, there are six months given here, January to June. Output in units. In the month of January, we made two units in February 4, March 6, 8, April 8, May 10, and June 12. And the corresponding total cost is given $100, $150, $200, $250, $300, and $400. We are trying to find out is there a relationship between making more units and having higher total cost? Or is it vice versa? That the more you make, the less the cost. So let's find out. So if you look at this question, months, number of units and the total cost is given, these additional columns are required. Now when I said x into y, you can take output in units as x and total cost as y. So when it says x into y, just multiply 2 into 100 will give you 200. Likewise you have x square. This is x, 2 into 2 is 4. And this is y. So 100 into 100 will give you 10,000. So this way you have to complete the entire table. Like 4 into 150 because this is x, this is y. So x into y, 4 into 150 will give you 600. Okay, x square 4 fours are 16. 150 into 150 is 22,500. Likewise, you have to complete all these tables. When the table is complete, we need to total them up. So total, statistically, we use the sign of sigma. Sigma means summation. Total of x, we need to find out. Total of y column, we need to know total of x into y. Total of summation x square, how much? And finally, summation y square. To save time, I have given you the totals. The sum of this x column, if you total them vertically, is 42. You total this, this is 1400. Once you complete this table and you total them vertically, 
xy, sigma xy, the total of xy column is 11,800. Sigma x squared, the total is 364. The total of y squared is 385,000. Once we have these numbers ready, we are able to use the formula for correlation. Okay, so formula is given here. I'm just plugging in the numbers. So correlation coefficient is denoted by small r. R is equal to n. n is the number of observation. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 observations are given. So I'm using n as 6. Sigma xy, sigma xy is 11,800. Minus sigma x, sigma x is 42. Into sigma y, which is 1,400. Whole thing is under a radical sign n again, n into sigma x square, n is 6, sigma x square is 364, minus sigma x the whole square, sigma x is 42, so 42 the whole square, close the brackets, open another bracket, again n into sigma y square, n is 6, sigma y square is 385, Sigma y the whole square, sigma y is 1400, so 1400 whole square. So when I solve all this, I am getting 0 0.99, which is almost equal to 1. Now we need to understand what is the meaning of 1. And let me tell you, this is positive 1. Generally, the value of correlation coefficient ranges between minus 1 to positive 1. So here the answer is 1. 1 means perfect positive correlation. The perfect positive correlation means if one variable will increase, the other will also increase. So if you look at this, the output from 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10, the production is increasing so is the total cost. Can you see from 100 to 150, 200, 250, 300 and 400. And that is exactly denoted by this answer. There is a possibility that when you calculate correlation, your answer is not positive 1. It could be negative 1. Negative 1 means, if it is 1, 1 means 100%. Okay, 1 means 100%. So, if it is positive 1, that means it is positively correlated. One variable will increase, the other one will also increase. But what if you get the answer as, let's say, minus 1? Minus 1 shows that both the variables have a very strong relationship. Same is the case in plus 1. Plus 1 means strong relationship. Perfect, positive, linear relationship. One variable increases, the other increases. But if you get a minus 1, 1 means 100%. Minus means there is an inverse relationship between the two variables. Like the law of demand. If price increases, quantity demand decreases. So if price is increasing, one variable is increasing, the other is going down. And how strong the relationship is? Look at the value 1. So it's a perfect inverse relationship. So in other words, we can say that the closer the value of R, the closer the value of R, is to 1 whether it be positive or negative the closer the value of r is to minus 1 or plus 1 that denotes a very strong relationship so, okay answer could be 0 if the answer comes 0 that means there is no relationship okay there is no established relationship between the two variables anything can happen but if the answer is let's say 0.9 or 0.8 that means strong relationship 0.9 means 90 percent if the answer is let's say 0.1 it is positive but the relationship is not strong this formulas can be used for many things for example if you are a marketing manager if you want to know if we spend more on advertising would the sale increase we cannot say whether it will increase or not, what we have to do is, we have to collect some historical data. Let's say advertisement expense for the last 10 months, for the last 10 quarters, and the corresponding sales for the quarter, and then we can name them X and Y, 
and plug the details into the formula and let's see what r has to tell us if the value of r is close to 1 positive that means the more you spend on advertisement the higher the sales will be okay sometimes if a company uh, unfortunately if they have uh, negative goodwill so the more you promote them the sales will go down because people don't think good about the company okay likewise doctors can also use this okay they need to know okay if I have details of my uh, last 10 patients their weight and BP okay so if I put them into this so I'll get to know whether high blood pressure is associated with being obese or the younger you are there is less possibility of having high blood sugar level whether it is correct or not we cannot say I mean comment on this hypothesis unless we plug the details into the correlation formula and see what the answer has to tell us it's not only applicable in medicine as I said it is also applicable in business like I gave you example of total units and total cost sometimes the more you produce your cost may not go up you know why because most of your cost is fixed cost not variable cost if your total cost in this total cost the variable aspect is very high fixed as fixed cost is very less variable cost is very high then the more you produce your total cost will go up but if your fixed cost is more and the variable cost is less even if you produce more your total cost is not going up because most of the cost is fixed so I hope you have understood the concept of correlation it is very important and applicable in business and obviously from examination point of view in CMA, ACCA, CPA you name the professional qualification especially accounting professional qualification question paper is incomplete without there being an MCQ or a question on correlation a little bit of graphs if I'm talking about positive correlation which is plus one it looks like this this is x-axis this is y maybe we are talking about you know output here and total cost okay so it looks like this if you connect the points it is going like this so if the graph is going moving towards upward it's a straight line that means your r is equal to positive one if the graph if you plot the details of any two variables and if it is like this and when you connect the points it's going like this that shows r is equal to minus one that shows inverse correlationship means if price goes up demand falls okay if the graph shows like this there are points here so if you try to connect them there is no straight line that means there is no correlation and if you calculate uh, these variables the, question, the variables for this question if you plug them in this formula the value of r would most likely come to either zero or close to zero which means there is no relationship the next thing very important is r square which is known as coefficient of determination now r shows us is there a relationship between two variables positive or negative strong or weak close to zero is a weak relationship close to one is a strong relationship if it is close to positive one it's a perfect positive linear relationship one variable increase the other will also increase if it is close to minus one it's a strong relationship but it's an inverse relationship one variable will increase the other will decrease like a person may score high in management accounting but may score low in financial accounting so r shows the relationship between two variables coefficient of determination which is r square it measures the total variation in one variable which is caused by the change in another variable in other words we can say that coefficient of determination measures the strength of linear association okay if i increase one unit how much change it will bring in the other variable for example if I increase uh, advertising expense by 20% by how much sales will increase if you want to know that calculate R square so R we have already calculated here as 0.99 for example okay so R square will be 0 0.99 multiplied by 0 0.99 you will get around 0 0.98 what does this show this is actually 98% which means if I take this example 
if you change one variable your total cost will change by 98 percent and in which direction obviously r was positive one that means if you increase one unit your total cost may increase by 98 percent i hope you have understood this so ladies and gentlemen if you have understood this concept or if you have any queries relating to coefficient of correlation or coefficient of determination, feel free to leave a comment and I will reply to you as usual. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell notification button so that you can get my videos on a timely basis. Thank you so very much for your precious time. Love you all.